Hi, I'm George Spicer, and I have a word of encouragement for you. It happened 21 years ago, but it still feels like yesterday to me. Quarterback Kurt Warner led the St. Louis Rams to a Super Bowl victory over Tennessee. At the end of the game, Warner was interviewed before a worldwide audience, and he was asked what he was feeling after he threw the winning touchdown pass. Instead, Warner answered, The first thing I've got to do is give praise and honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There he was on the big stage, but Warner didn't take any of the credit for the victory. Instead, he praised God for his grace and his mercy in the same way that King David does in Psalm 18. The subscription reads like this, for the director of music, of David, a servant of the Lord. He sang to the Lord the words of this song when the Lord delivered him from the hand of his enemies and the hand of Saul. You see, David was hunted by his enemies in the same intensity that a rabid fan would hunt for one more Super Bowl ticket. Saul was jealous of David and wanted him dead, and Saul brought the entire firepower of the kingdom upon David. And yet God thwarted every one of Saul's plans, and he delivered David so that the one that he had anointed would be able to lead his people Israel. David responded by writing a majestic song of praise, giving thanks for God's grace and mercy. In it, you won't find David bragging about his battle tactics or how he was able to escape Saul's every move. Instead, he keeps pointing to the grace and mercy that God had shown to him. In fact, this psalm begins with these words, I love you, O Lord, my strength. To the very end, David keeps pointing to the Lord as the reason for his success. Where has God surprised you with his grace? Maybe he delivered you from a really tough situation or removed a worry that was keeping you up at nights. Maybe it happened when you came before his altar and you received Jesus' body and blood for the forgiveness of all of your sins, removing a weight of guilt and shame from your shoulders. Whatever it was, why don't you do like David and this week write your own song of praise to God for his grace and mercy to you. You've already got the beginning of the first stanza. I love you, O Lord, my strength. Happy songwriting this week. And thanks for joining me. I'll be back again on Monday at 8 o'clock with another word of encouragement. Until then, God bless your week. Bye-bye now.